hopefully you guys can see this, but huh? that's a baby mountain lion cub right there. There you go. Too. So at this point my dropper post was that was stuck in the down position which was making me pedaling super hard so I was not really pedaling efficiently and I was standing up while I was doing so so I got really tired come to the downhill it did affect my performance and this is another reason why I just fast forwarded this clip because I was going really slow since I couldn't really pedal but the downhill is coming soon so I hope you enjoy at least that part. Yeah, I've been having issues with my dropper post. It's pretty stuck and uh, it's not going up or down unless I punch it. So I'm gonna try to fix it. If not, I'm gonna need to buy a new bike. <laughs> yeah, but like I told you guys, I've been wanting to see if I could do an enduro race, but my climbing's not that great. I would say my downhill's pretty good, but I don't know about my climbing. Yeah, this show was pretty fun. The last time we went on it, it was pretty rutted, so. Yeah, super ruts. Especially right here. So actually, the very first time I rode this trail, I got really, really, really hurt. I think I was out for, oh, my back tires. Did you see how rutted that was? Yeah, so I think I was out for like two months. I fell on this trail pretty, pretty bad. All thanks to the ruts. Um, I was going on a berm, a little bit lower. I'll make sure I tell you guys where it was at. But my front tire got stuck, and uh, that was it. Crashed into a tree. Tried to absorb the force with my wrist, and uh, yeah, it didn't end well. Didn't ride for a while. Yeah, but this trail definitely needs some work. Super rutted. And after that incident, I've always hated ruts. And this part always kills me too. Especially because I can't put my seat up. But yeah, after that, if you guys notice in my videos, I tend to slow down where there's a lot of ruts, a lot of big ruts too. I always had a for that. I'm pretty fearful of them. And these braking bumps too. Hated them. Still do. Especially right now where it's hard to see. So coming up, I think. Not, a, not this burn, but the next one. Uh, nah. Anyways, it was right here. So I uh, kind of read this. Which is not true right there on my left. That is where I crashed. So, ever since then, I've been taking it really slow on this trail. I haven't really felt comfortable on it either. So, but so looking at my Strava times, they've been getting better and better and better. Maybe good enough for an enduro race. We'll see one day. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next vid. Make sure you check the rest out.